Hi, my sunny teammates. Welcome back. My name is Wendy. I will be your instructor today. Today we are doing a 20 minute intermediate, a mini stepper workout. It's going to be very fun, very sweaty. We're going to be doing intervals. So we'll do 30 seconds at high intensity and then a 90 second active recovery rest session. So let's just get started with dynamic stretching. We'll go knee up and around here. We're gonna do one minute dynamic stretching, one minute of a warm up on the mat, and then we will jump onto the mini stepper to warm up before we start our series here. Just pull back those legs for a little bit of a quad stretch. And wide stance here, opposite hand to foot, alternating for a little hamstring stretch and core rotation. It actually feels really good. Does it feel good to you? Nope. Nothing too crazy, just getting your body loosened up here. And come on up, walk your feet in. Let's just do a little core twist. And right on the cross. Both, left arm. both arms forward and both arms back. All right, just to get warmed up, let's go alternating back lunges. One step back, step forward. Just rotating between the two. Just getting that body warm. Getting those quads, your calves, your glutes. Just firing up here. Deep breath, nice job. Ooh, a little wobbly on that side, that's okay. Nice job, just one step back at a time. And one more, step it forward. Let's go hands behind head, low squat down, twist, knee to elbow. I wanna go slow on the lower and then pop it up at the top. Slow on the lower. Nice job, pushing those hips back, chest up. You got five, four, three, two, last one here. Drop it down, lift and twist. All right, let's jump on your mini stepper and get you settled in. All right, so figure out where it feels the most comfortable for your feet on the pedals. I like to have mine right in the center. Um, make sure that your toes are facing forward because you have nothing to like lean on in front of you. It's a little bit easier to keep your posture upright. Focus on pushing through your heels for this exercise and keep everything aligned and using your heels as a um, rooted strengthening spot for you on these pedals. So you wanna keep your core engaged the whole time, chest up, shoulders relaxed. Again, like I said, everything aligned, that spine really aligned. So here we go. We're gonna start with our first 30 seconds of a sprint. So I want you to squat down this first one. We're gonna be working with it. So we're gonna be in a little bit of a squat here. You're not pressing the pedals all the way down, but you're moving the tempo up. So just pressing down into those heels. Sometimes your feet might come off the pedals. Try to keep them as planted as you can, but naturally they might a little bit and that's okay. You got eight seconds. Really squatting down a little bit is gonna push it into your quads and your glutes more. In three, two, and one, step it up. So now we're back to that active rest here. You can go a little bit slower. We're not resting on each side, and that's a little bit too slow. But pressing the pedals all the way down, kind of at like, maybe like a normal walking pace. Nothing too crazy. So when we get to the sprints, we just got through the first one. So I showed you what it looks like. We only have seven more. You're welcome. You're already done. It's fun. Um, so when we get through the sprints, like I said, we're going to drop down into a little bit more of a rooted squatted position. Um, that's going to put it into your quads, into your glutes. The trick is keeping your core engaged the whole time and not folding forward too much. Keep that chest up and really engaging your glutes on this. So I know that's like hard to do, but I want you to focus on these body parts as you do the sprints. So in this active recovery, just bring your breath down. You can relax your arms. 
I usually lift my arms when we go into the sprint, I feel like, because that would be weird today. So you can relax your arms down, have them move along with you. Go at a pace that feels comfortable, that can bring your breath down, but not your heart rate so far down that you're not active anymore. 10 more seconds and we're gonna go into round two. Deep breath, you got it. In three, two, and one, root down. Here we go, little pulse. So again, not pushing the pedals all the way down. This is more of a faster movement, really pushing. You're gonna feel a burn in your quads. That's what you want, you have 15 seconds. Keep pushing. Deep breath, come on, 10 seconds. You get a nice 90 after this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Wow. Do you feel a burn? I do. It might be because I've done like three workouts today, but maybe this is you just getting started so you don't feel quite a burn yet. You will by number eight, don't worry. All right, so as you do these steps, and I notice myself doing it sometimes, so I'm gonna bring it up. Um, locking out your knees at the bottom, you wanna be careful of that. Keep a micro bend in your knees, even as you straighten your legs. This is gonna protect your knees. Deep breath. I love the mini stepper because it's so compact, and you can really get a good workout in quickly. Even though you're not like moving that much, you can really engage a lot of your body, which is nice. Get those arms moving. Really extend those pedals a little bit longer, a little bit deeper into that. Maybe just tapping the bottom and coming right back up again. Awesome. You got 20 seconds. We're gonna move into our third sprint. Woo, we are moving through these, this is nice. So really engage. If for some reason you popped out of the sprint the last time and slowed down, try to stay in it for as long as you can. Here we go. 30 seconds. Woo, nice. Get this little arm moving. <laughs> I feel like a mall walker. That's hilarious. Do I look like a mom yet? Not quite, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, folks. Okay, keep moving though, you got this. For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Ow, that felt good. All right, slow it down. Increase the distance, pushing all the way down. Crazy how quickly this will get me sweaty. Cause it really doesn't look like it would do that much damage, but it does. Miraculous piece of equipment. Abs tight. You're gonna do a nice ab workout after this though, right? Yes, I heard a yes. Great. Keep it going, you got one minute here just to lower the heart rate a little bit. And then we'll be officially halfway after this one. Nice deep breath. Again, check in with that body. If you can hear my knee, it's kind of crunchy right now. Sometimes that happens, it's okay. Although all of my doctors keep being like, that shouldn't be happening at your age. I'm like, well, Sir, ma'am, it is. So it's okay, we're gonna be gentle with our knees. This is a good low impact exercise to do if you do have knee or back problems. <laughs> so it's always a good option. All right, drop me down in three, two, and one. Here we go. Sprint number four. Mind over matter in this one. I know that it burns and you wanna stop. Or maybe that's just what my brain's telling me, I'm not sure but keep going anyways, you can do this. Your body is completely capable. Even if it's exhausted, it can do this. People have survived a lot worse. Three, two, and one. I like these intervals because I really like to prove to myself that I have 
the endurance and stamina to keep going, even when it gets hard, which is always nice for me because if my body can do it, then my brain can do it. And life is hard. So sometimes you need some mental endurance and stamina to get through things. This is a great way to practice that. If you've watched any of my workouts, I tie a lot of mental health stuff into it because I think they're very connected. Mind, body, connection. Nice job, 15 seconds. So I wanna bring up maybe a touchy subject for you, but let's just check in. How are you feeling about your body today? Let's check in with any comments that are going through your head. If you struggle with this, speaking kindly to yourself, we're gonna practice it right now. As you go through this next sprint, I want your brain to be telling yourself how courageous you are to come do this workout, how you're pushing through the pain of it, and drop in three, two, and one. Here we go. So tell your brain this. Holy cow, I'm so proud of you. I feel it burning in your thighs right now and you want to quit, but you're not quitting. I can tell that you're out of breath right now and you feel like your heart is pounding out of your chest and you wanna just stop, but you're not stopping. So you have eight seconds left and you're gonna keep pushing through. You are strong, you are resilient, you can do anything you set your mind to and rest. Nice job. So if you came into today not feeling super in love with your body, I want you to practice some self-acceptance, some self-love. I know that's a very cliche thing all over social media and the internet. But there is something to it, you take it seriously, of accepting, this is where my body is right now. This is what it looks like. And it's okay, because my body is still doing what I need my body to do. Still came to this workout, still showed up for me. It's still pushing these little pedals, even when it's hard. And that feels like what your body should do, right? Your body should move and your body should work out. It should sweat. It's doing everything it needs to do right now. So let's find the positives of your strength, of your stamina, of the beauty of your body, how it's quite a miracle that it's functioning well most of the time. Nice job, you got eight seconds. And we are going into number six. In three, two, and one. Here we go. It's a really funny sound. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but. Keep pressing, come on. Tell yourself you can do it. Little presses, chest up, engage that core. I know it's hard to keep your abs tight, but try to do it. Focus in. You got five, four, three, come on, two, and one. Woo! Yikes, that one burned. We deserve a 90 second rest. Ha! Huh. Deep breath. You can do this. You got two more. Two more! You're almost done. Throw those shoulders back, check in with your posture. Are your, el your elbows, <laughs> are your shoulders up by your ears? Is your neck kind of strained? Are you pushing your neck forward? Is your chest leaning over? That would be hard to do that, but I guess you can manage. Are we too hinged at the hips? Are you locking out your knees? Are you pushing through your heels? So much to pay attention to. So, 
For this next one, we're gonna bring our mind to our breath. As you do this next sprint, I want you to try to block out the pain that you're feeling in your quads and focus your mind on the present moment of your breath. Try to center in on the feeling of it expanding your lungs or the oxygen going into your nose. Are you ready? Three, two, and one. Here we go, same pace. We're gonna focus on our breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Focus on that breath, center in, let it drive you. 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. All the way in, expanding those lungs in three, two, and one. Woo! Thank you, breath, for getting us through that one. Nice job. As your breath pace back down, you got this. That was really nice. I didn't notice as much pain in my quads. Did you? Sometimes focusing on your breath can really help you push through some of the tougher moments. I know that breath is used in meditation a lot, so if you meditate, you're familiar with that, of using your breath to be mindful, to pull yourself into the present. And let's be honest, focusing on your breath feels a lot better than focusing on the pain of your thighs and your glutes. So, we're gonna practice it one more time on this last one. We literally have one more and you're done. We're gonna do a nice little cool down after. 30 seconds. You got this. Pull yourself together. Don't quit on me now. I want you to give it everything that you got because it's the last time you're doing it. You never have to sprint on this again until you join me again for another workout. But for today, you are done. 15 seconds. Here we go. You're gonna squat a little lower. You're gonna press through your heels. Engage all of your body parts. You're gonna do the thing. Drop it down, let's go. Focus on that breath. Come on, press. Come on, you can get your little mall walker arms moving if you want to. That'll raise up your heartbeat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Eight seconds. You got this. Come on, all the way to the end. We don't quit. Three, two, and one. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> Feels good. We really did it. Oh my goodness. Wow, bring it back to a normal place. Keeping that heart rate up, we're gonna lower it down slowly. Woo! Love a recovery moment. We are here for it. Nice job. Got about one-ish more minutes of a cool down here. I'm gonna slow it down even more. Not necessarily like pausing at the bottom, but popping at the bottom. Bring that heart rate down. I'm gonna step off and do a nice little quad stretch after this. Woo! All right, let's reflect back, because that took definitely some stamina, honestly, some courage from me to get through. My legs are a little wobbly today from working out yesterday and today, so if you're feeling that way too, nice job. Way to push through it. 30 more seconds here. Just let that body Slow down, the breath slow down, the heart rate slow down. The sweat is rolling down my back as we speak, so that doesn't seem to be slowing down, but for the things you can control. Nice job. And three, two, and one. Let's just step off. Last 30 seconds of your workout here. 
Let's just pull that leg back. If you need to hold on to a wall or something, feel free to. A little stretch in your quads. For how shaky I am, I'm very surprised that I'm balancing as well. <laughs> we'll see what happens on the other leg. Holding <laughs> there. Uh, nice job. Just pull back there. Release some of that tension. Deep breath. Do a standing folding four, or you can sit down if you've already collapsed on the floor. That's fine. You should feel a stretch in your glutes right now. And other side. Ooh. Obviously, this is very minimal stretching, so I do encourage you to go over to a stretch class or pop over to an abs and then stretch. Whatever makes you feel the best today. I am so proud of you. Great job, and I will see you back here soon.